All right. Let's see what I've done. Had multiple choices to go th to consider. So I opted on the weld in frame. It's going to add about an inch, a little bit more than an inch to the bottom of my car. I'm either going to uh, fiberglass this or um, I'm going to take the lip off here all the way down. Probably fiberglass that to this one inch tube. See where I made the L bracket, or not L bracket, the, uh, the brace coming off of this rail here. It's gonna come down along the channel of the car. It's gonna be welded on this side and welded on this side. And once I get the floor cut out, then I should be able to weld these here on this side here and I can weld this on the back side here problem I'm having is I didn't grind it well enough to grind it where it would be totally smooth there's a gap I can fill in the gap no problem all these are tack welds I just tack welded it um, didn't want to put too much heat to it so I just tacked it tack tack and I ran a bead there, I think, so. Um, I worked my welder around until I filled that in cap in. But that's, that's how I'm going to set it up. And my intentions right now are to go from here just before the, the channel. And run straight down to the front of the car so basically have two halves of the car like two floor pans and then uh, I was going to use some aluminum and pot rivet in but I think I'm gonna go with some uh, probably some metal like this I had already just started messing with this is what I started doing here messing with this but it goes to metal like this I think and uh, try to roll it to match the surface. Right now what I gotta do is run the channel down through here, here, and run it, follow it up until it meets this channel here, which I'll have to bypass this little section right here as far as welding because it's it's not structurally sound enough. Which leads me to another issue right behind the tire. This metal here is kind of at it away. So that's another, some other reasons why I went with the, uh, with this frame, floor frame style setup is because once I get my floor base set and get some cross members in and some angle members in and get it nice and secure, then, uh, Whatever I have to do with the body, or even the floor, or anything else, shouldn't shouldn't take away from the integrity of the uh, the frame and the floor and the the car in general. And what that what I'll do there is fiberglass this. I'll I'll try to grind this out as far as I can until I get some good solid metal or even some decent metal where it's even if it's rusted I can uh, use some um, either PR15 or some uh, naval jelly whatever and then I will glass this section here and then uh, the two things there number one is undercoated the metal part is undercoated and number two I don't have to worry about it rusting um, because it's going to be fiberglass now this right up in here is solid. It's just this one section right here. It's probably a, it's probably going to wind up being about a five inch area um, or so. But everything up in here is solid, so that's good. And I plan on fiberglassing from the inside on the inner floorboard. Um, put me a piece of uh, cardboard. Uh, um, 
wax paper on this side, hold it, and then fiberglass from the inside. And of course, I'll maybe have to use some putty on the outside here to fill in the gap. Um, all this is solid. I, I, I thought about leaving this section. I still may. I don't know. Because it's really solid. It really is. Um, but then I'd still have to put my metal floor over there. Over there so it's going to cause a, a void, a, a space to rust and gather. So. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I do. I'm definitely going to leave the box section in here for number one for the seats. Number two, it's, it's solid. I'll just uh, I'll put PR15 up in there, which keep that just keep that from rusting ever. And um, that's the only place I have to worry about rusting there. Of course, back here, which you've seen before. I cut this rust out. It was a small hole, not that big. It wound up being this. So I'll definitely get some more metal and fill this in. Uh, I may wind up taking even more of it out. The back side of here doesn't really feel that solid. It's all right. It's just, just from my peace of mind. So I may get that completely out. Or if nothing else, at least support it, secure it from behind. And I'm going to run bolts through there. I bolt my new rear end on there. And I'm boxing this in. So where you see this tube here, there's going to be a tube here. So I'm going to grind that down. So this is actually, this entire piece, this rear section here is going to be boxed in. There. Um, and then once I get the two sections independently, independently done, and boxed in and separately. I'll, what I'll do is I'll box up one side, flip it over on the, on the other side and box the other side. Then I plan on connecting this to, to the other side. And of course running some cross members in this intersection there to tie it all together. Um, that does, that's gonna do two things in my mind at least and whether it's mechanically sound or, or not, or engineered engineered sound or whatever um it's going to do two things in my mind it's going to the car's going to be supported separately on each side um and then supported down the center and if for some reason i do need to take one side loose i can all i have to do is grind down the center and it separates the two sides from each other for whatever reason i need to do that i don't know because once i put this new floor in I, it should never have to be replaced again because i plan on putting a real good coat of POR15 in there, and it should, should never be an issue again. That was one of the reasons why I thought about going with aluminum. And I'm still not totally against aluminum, but right now I've kind of weighed against it. And uh, the pot rivets and the aluminum, with the galvanized aluminum pot rivets, I could go with uh, brass pot rivets, I guess. So I don't know. I still may do the pot rivets. I don't know. Uh, then you have to take into effect into the account the uh, vibration, vibration, sound, noise, and stuff, rattling. I thought about using some uh, caulking or seam sealer for that, between that and the floor. So I still got some decisions to make. But this is, you know, this is to me this is one one solid decision I have made. I had like four four ways I could have went with this, and then decided to go this way. So hopefully it'll do somebody some good. Hopefully it'll help somebody out once I do post it on YouTube or on, on the forum. Hopefully it'll help somebody out. But see, where this almost is, well, it's definitely close enough to tack it if I need to tack it in place. Kind of gets away from it down through it a little bit. But get a pair of pliers, I can pull it down, tack it if I need to. So, and I'll throw some fiberglass over it. Kind of close it in. And then I plan on running some uh, either Z-Max or some type of uh, ground effects on it. So, and since I'm lowering the car one inch, which you know anybody that owns a Mini knows it's already low enough as it is. So I don't think it's going to hurt it though. And I plan on tying the frame into the subframe. Where's my subframe? My subframe. Um, running the bar up from here up under the channel here or somewhere around the channel 
to the subframe and using some uh, um, some um, rubber rubber uh, matter of fact I might even use these mountains right here and uh, that way it ties the frame into the uh, subframe and of course I've already showed you my rear subframe I don't want to go back over again with it but I'm probably gonna have to wind up cutting cutting either completely back here out but definitely cutting a section of this here out because it's gonna have to countersink some it's got to sit up somewhere like this so the floor actually the floor or the boot or whatever you want to call it it's gonna actually be a little higher up here but what I'm gonna do first is cut the battery box out set it in place I'll narrow it. I don't know. I might not narrow it first. I might just set it in place. Set the core on top of it and kind of get an idea where I sit. Get a feel for it. Still got to finish cutting this out, but I'm going to cut it out from the interior. So, so I think I'm headed in the right direction, though. Just trying to document a little bit. So. wife wants to know how fast it will be before it starts running. <laughs> Obviously she hasn't never done this before. So. Alright, well, I'll keep you guys up, 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 updated. Uh.